everyone, this is Christina and I'm here on another Sunday to do a little Sunday school, a little children's talk about the gospel of this week. So this week's gospel is taken from John chapter 17 verses 1 through 11. And in it, Jesus is with his disciples around a table, kind of like a dining room table, a kitchen table, where they would gather together and they would have a meal like a family, like you guys might do with your families. And during that time, Jesus was talking to them and, and explaining things to them, and they were talking about their day, just like you guys might talk about your day sometimes. And then Jesus started talking about when he went to heaven and how he had helped the people, his disciples, and now they were ready for him to go into heaven. And they knew what to do because Jesus had given them the breath of life. Now, what is the breath of life? It's kind of confusing and kind of different way of talking. So to help explain it, I have this. Now this, as you can see, is a balloon. But it doesn't look like a balloon right now, does it? It's deflated, it's not big, it does it, doesn't look like a decoration that you'd see at a party. It just, it just looks plain. Well, we are like the balloons. We don't have the breath of life in them yet. So when we put the breath of life in ourselves, then watch what happens. We get bigger. We can see it now. We can see what the breath does to the balloon and how the breath helps the balloon grow and become what it was meant to be. Without the breath, the balloon is empty again. So what God, what Jesus was trying to tell his disciples was that it was their turn now to go out into the world and give people the breath of life that Jesus had given them. And to do that, they had to talk about Jesus, and they had to, they had to perform miracles, and they had, to, they had to love people and be kind to people and, and love each other the way that Jesus has always loved us. And that way, he was, they would be giving people just like Jesus gave them and keeps giving us the breath of life. And with that breath, we become whole. We become great. We know what we need to do. We know that we are children of God. And we know that Jesus loves us. And he wants us to have this breath of life. He wants us to always remember how much he loves us. And that he's always there for us. Just like he was always going to be there for the disciples. He wanted them to know that what he had done on earth was over, but now it was someone else's turn to take over. Someone else's turn to give the breath of life. And that's, that's what Jesus wanted them to know. That they all had it. Sometimes it's hard to know that it's there, but it's always there. We always have it with us. Jesus is always inside us. Of us and he always wants to help us and be there for us and he always loves us so it's up to us to keep the breath inside to not let it come out but just but to keep it inside and when we feel we need some more then we talk to him and we say Lord I need some more of your love I need some more of your breath and he's always going to give it to us he always wants us to be whole. He always wants us to be the best we can be. He always wants us to love him as much as he loves us. So now we have, we are full of the 
breath of life. And we can continue on in our day and it's not going to come out, it's not going to leak. Just like when we tie off a balloon, the air stays in. So we tie off our hearts. We tie off our hearts for Jesus and we keep him inside. We don't let him out. And he's always going to be there for us. Even when we feel lonely or sad or, or scared or angry or happy and excited, Jesus is always with us every step of the way. So I hope that helps everyone understand it a little bit better. Sometimes the stories that Jesus tell, tell us in the Bible can be a bit confusing to understand, so it's nice to have different things to help us. So I hope today the balloon helped you guys understand the breath of life that Jesus gives all of us. So before we go, I just want to remind everybody that if you have any good news you want to share, any pictures or anything, you can do so by emailing St. Mary's Church. So Church at nl.rogers.com at any time. And that way it goes on their website and it can go in the Magnificent. And so before we go and we continue on with our week, let's say a little prayer. And if we all remember that what we do when we pray is we fold our hands and we close our eyes and we bow our heads. So can everyone do that with me? Perfect. Okay, here we go. Dear God, thank you for filling us with the breath of life. Help us to never forget how much you love us and how you're always with us, no matter how lonely or scared or 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 angry or, or frightened or frustrated we may be and that you're with us in the good times and the bad times, that you're never far away and you're always wanting to fill us up with your love and your life. Help us, Lord, to be like the disciples and spread your love to the people around us, that they will always know your good works that you do. Be with us this week that we will all be safe and we will have fun and we will do things to make you happy. I pray this in your name, Lord Jesus. Amen. And when we say amen, it means I agree. So I hope everyone has a wonderful week and I can't wait to see you again next week. Bye.